Hey everyone, Flying Dutchy here. Welcome to the next episode as Muscovy in the third Rome pre uh, release version of the game. Let's unpause. We are just uh, out of the war with uh, Lithuania, who is still not in the union with Poland. We are very lucky with that. And uh, let's uh, get our stuff together and keep playing. So the next thing that we actually need to do is go to war with Novgorod. So let's get our armies ready to invade. What is your technology level 4? We are tech 5. I can't rival you, that's a pity. Uh, uh, the truce will be away in a couple of months, so let's prepare for that war. It's a really easy war. I think we can stack wipe that army. Especially with our special units. Uh, let's see, can we get some more? Can we get some more? No, we need to wait four more years. And when do we get the Strelski? Oh, we are very close. We are gonna get our Strelski next year. So watch for this, watch out for this, it's gonna be really amazing. First time we are going to click that button. By using Gathered Power for Race Streltsky, we will impact War Exhaustion by minus 2% and raise 8 Streltsky regiments in our capital. This will increase our stability cost to plus 18.1% by relying on these regiments. We erase 8 Strelsky. Do you want to do this? Yes. And there they are. You see that they have uh, an other col uh, other color. They are gray. And they give you 10% more fire damage. Which is insane in the late game. Let's get here. And let's start the war against Novgorod. Should I attack right now? I think I should. I think I should do it right now before they get any alliances. Yeah, we are flanking him. He has a good leader, but we have high attacks, so let's go. The war goal is going to be not a reconquest because I don't want to pay any diplo points for the rest of the provinces. I'm going to take Novgorod in this war, because I want the trade power, so there we go, and attack him. We should increase the relations with Bello or Zero, since you will be annexed very soon. We could give him some more provinces, but I'm not going to do it, because we have... High liberty desire subject, so that's not a good thing to do. Okay, there we go. Do they have more forts? They have a fort over here. Okay. And my vessels go in siege mode. And they are in the siege mode, so that's good. Uh oh. No! Our good air died. Are you kidding me? He was so good. We lost our 5 4 3 air. Oh no. Well, we should get an air very soon, but. Oh. That's a big loss. And that's a stack wipe. Or not. Nope. How unfortunate is that? I'm going to consolidate the regiments, yes. And we are going to siege all of it. It's really a pity that we lost that air. It was a really good air.
Come on, kill them. You can do it. Where will he flee to? He's gonna flee to here, I, guess, I think. Let's go there. Oh, let's not get our ruler into this armies. Don't, don't you die now. Hey, Kush Connors. Are you at 50? He's at 52%. At least we are occupying all his things. Let's help with that siege. You go to our core. He is moving to there. That's a stack wipe. Okay. He stack wiped the Novgorod army over there. Well, I hope that's a stack wipe actually. I think so. Yes. Okay. Looks good. Uh, no more uh, metropolitans. No. Can't get more. We don't have enough uh, orthodox accepted culture 30 development states. So that is what you need for it. Uh, go there, I guess. Or go there. He's running away. Well, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Run away, you scared. You get it back soon. Why don't they like me? Because of the r relative strength of all vessels, yeah. That's annoying. Well, you guys, come home. You don't have to fight anymore. You did your job. You did a great and great job. We need 8,000 men to reinforce our army. 8,000! Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot of points. So I'm not going to consolidate my special units. I will keep my special units uh, alive. Like this and this will get consolidated. Because otherwise you lose your special units. That's really... Something you don't want to do, right? The non-possessor movement. We can gain patriarch authority. Yes. How much do we have? 35%. Good. Very good. Looks really good. You can do this as well. You not. There we go. That should help with the reinforcements. Oh, you don't have enough troops there anymore. Uh, well. Then you go there. We court some provinces. We can't court that one yet. Over in... Ochakov. Of the Ruthenian accepted culture. The truce with Lithuania will be over in 13 years. So we need to find another target in those 13 years. And I think it will be Kazan. Since we can feed Perm some land. 
Okay, we have the Novgorod Siege. Let's see what we can piece out for. I will keep this core over here, so I can use the Reconquest Casus Belli. But how big are you and can I? They will have four provinces left. I am gonna give Bello a zero some provinces. Um, well, no, 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 no. They are unhappy already. I don't. I'm not gonna give them more provinces. I'm gonna core it all. I'm gonna core all of this myself. All of it. Come on, don't be so unhappy. I can marry you and then the, then the problems are over. Come on. Start being not unhappy anymore. You can do it. I know you can. Yeah, it's over. Uh, or not. Yes, so we have to marry them right now. So we get a minus 15%. There we go. How are we looking? The biggest one is Peskov because we can't get a marriage with them. So maybe we should improve with him. So we need to wait for the last siege and then we can peace out. So that's really good. And then we're going to war with Kazan. I'm going to mothball my forts again because we are losing money. Also because of the maintenance and other things. Okay, that's it. That's it. For now. Come home. We lost an advisor as well. Let's get to level 1. I don't want to have more. We're gonna peace out. We are gonna take all of this and we are gonna take your money. Lithuania, Livonian Order, Riga, and Poland are gonna join the coalition. I don't care. There it is. We can start coring. I'm gonna core it right away since it's only 0.8 war exhaustion, that's fine. And Peskov is unhappy. Why are you unhappy? You should not be unhappy. I'm bigger than you. And let's try to get some more money in. Alright, so that was a good war. Uh, you. Can I culture convert you? No, there is separatism, so we can't. There's almost no unrest. 7.9. And what about the forts? So how is our trade situation and our state situation now? Yeah, we, we need more states. That's what we need. And the trade situation, well, we are having the most, uh, we have all the centers of trade. So we should make uh, the most trade out of here. And maybe it's time to steer trade from here. Out of Novgorod and going to Kiev. I think that's the best thing to do. We have this uh, trade uh, province, so that's really good. Still cannot build any marketplaces, we don't have the technology. Meh, it's alright. 8, 7 and 14, 6, yeah, okay. I will give you two, I will give you four Streltsky. There we go. 
Can we repay our loan? Yes, we can. Yeah, we needed uh, better Diplo technology so we can actually uh, have less problems with the Liberty Desire. You are at 187. You are at 1696. So you need to get some uh, hugs. We are going to get our manpower to go up again. And we are going to prepare for a war against Kazan. They are allied with the Timurids, which is fine. Perm, do you have claims all over Kazan? Yes, you do. At least what you can claim. I'm going to core Kazan myself, I think. It's another inland center of trade. Therefore, we need cores against him. Let's go to speed 4. We are having some uh, peace time. We are having a big vassal swarm and we are not gaining an air. Really annoying. Peskov insulted us. Really? Uh, now you like me again. <laughs> I pay off the debt. Yes, no more problems. They are at 40%. So we should annex some of our vessels as soon as we can. Because they are getting too big together. Army force is at 46 uh, can we do some more... No, we can't raise the Cossacks. I can do this one though. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I can call a diet over here. Yes. And then we have one other province. I can assign one more province to my nobility, but... <sighs> no. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna take this one. I can go and take one of the points. We gain five patriarch authority. Thank you. And we are gonna gain one hundred admin points. There we go. That's good. We are gonna take admin five with ten percent uh, bonus. But the question is, what is gonna be our first idea group? What is it going to be? I like the administrative ideas for more states and the coring cost. It is really good. Cheaper mercenaries. We don't need religious at the moment since we are not having big problems yet. This will become a, a idea group, but maybe the third one. We could go for for defensive for the more for the better morale. I think I'm going for defensive, but we are not ahead of time yet in military tech. So as long as we are not ahead of time, I'm not going to use a military idea group. Yeah, we are making 7 trade ducats. Uh, we can gain prestige for money, yes. Of course. Hey Hannah, welcome to the stream. Who are you? Some small rebel problems. What, what is so expensive? Our forts are really expensive though. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Yeah, I will keep the rest though. Oh yeah, we were overextended. Look, we are making 11. We are making money finally. Our manpower is coming back. Raised Cossack host is over. Can we do it again? Yes, there we go. Two more Cossacks. 
Plus 10% shock bonus. And uh, you know what? Let's let's get ready to fight Kazan. But I think I should. Uh, I, I'm going to take the next uh, Diplo technology, and then we will start the annexation of Perm. Let's raise the maintenance because we are getting some rebels very soon in Smolensk. We could try to stop them again. Let's try it. They are really low. Only 1.6 revolt risk. So those armies should uh, be able to keep it down. Maybe. 0 0.3. Close. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny chance that it's going to happen. A really small chance. You guys are ready, aren't you? Yes, you are. Uh, Peskov, come back. We're gonna get some claims on uh, Kazan. We will scooch some provinces from them. They are hordes. It's uh, really hard to keep hordes under control. But uh, I want some provinces over there. Because we can only uh, wait further for the Lithuania war and the Novgorod war. So I don't want to stand still, we have to keep conquering. Who can we rival? We can rival England or France. Why I can't rival the Ottomans? I don't know. I don't know why we can't. There must be a reason. We are gonna get more Patriarch Authority. We have 45%. We can almost start converting. I don't think there is an icon that gives you more missionary strength. No. We could change for the National Unrest guy. No. I don't want to lose Patriarch Authority. Bethobira, welcome to the stream. There we go. This is gonna help. Also with the Liberty Desire, the highest is now at 34%. Very good. Marketplaces, we can build those now. Start in Moscow. The rebels in Smolensk are going down. We can do the same in the Moscovite Zjedisan. Um, getting more boyars. Is that okay? No, because their influence goes up. Oh, and when will the modifiers go away? That takes way too long. No. They are unhappy now. Oh well. Did you choose the discipline guy? No. I could do it, but discipline is a bit meh.
it's only 5%. Those rebels are almost gone. Then I will go to the south and do the same there. Uh, Crimea is at war with Theodoro and Lithuania. It's a mess in Lithuania. It's a big, big mess. I'm going to get one claim and then we start the integration of Perm. We can't. I'm going to give them two more provinces, but then we are going to annex him. We are going to claim his capital because I want that center of trade. You come home. And then I, we are going to war, I think. Uh, give me mercantilism, that's fine. I wish I could get the rebel manpower recovery as a perk. It's overpowered. Okay, those rebels are gone. Now we are going to take care of those rebels. I should use my uh, extra... Uh, what do you call it? The... Uh, Cossacks. Let's send them over. So they have such a big improvement in shock. When do we get the next military technology? Ooh... Better tactics, better f bit more shock. How long? Maybe I should wait for that though. I think I'm gonna wait for the next military technology. Let's get some more manpower. Yeah, I think that's a way better plan. We can start the annexation though. Do we still have the annexed subjects modifier on our country? The answer is no. And we can almost do this one. Uh, impact progress for all rebel factions by minus 30%. That's going to be really nice. So we can uh, stop the Novgorodian uh, rebels for so some time. Let's annex this vessel. They are not gaining any Diplo points. It's really bad. Should I focus on it? Yeah, let's focus on Diplo points. We need, we need them. We need those points. Are we going to use this option? Mm, maybe. Let's use this option when we are at 90% for the Novgorodian separatists. Did they remove the culture conversion for the, the Russian ideas? No! Really? Really did they do it? Better cavalry. The nice thing is that your Cossacks and your Streltsky will also go to the next uh, update of infantry. So they don't stay their old, uh, their old uh, type. They will uh, transfer with your technology. That's really good. Denmark is no longer a rival. We are too big and we are too good. I'm going to declare the war. <laughs> Their allies are not even coming. Uh, we will do the conquest. Not the re re reconquest. And let's go. Yeah, I only managed to convert Asia to Muscovite once. Hello. Do you want to get punished from your horde ideas? I think you are. Let's fight them. It's 
this is gonna hurt, Kazan. Woohoo! I stack wiped, and now we are gonna fight these rebels. Because a European Universal is 4. Yeah. Where are your forts? Wait, you don't have any forts? Yes, you do. Over here. Siege it. This army... Split in half and carpet siege Kazan. So the nice thing about these abilities, you will uh, store up to 150 points, so you don't have to use them immediately. Vassals, siege, yes you are, good. Good, 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 good. Siege all the things. He is trying to make an army. <laughs> he is trying. This is also Kazan over here. So we can uh, move our army over there so we can see a bit more. You're gonna siege. And these armies are just gonna stay here, I guess. Let the let, let my vessels do the rest of it. That sounds like a really good idea. You are gonna get improved since we are going to finish the annexation of Perm and Belu Zero at the same time. That is my plan. I like my vessel swarm a lot. I like it. Looks really good. Flying Dutchie, what does it take to form Russia? Okay, if you want to form Russia, you need to uh, be at Administrative Tech 10. You need to be at Peace, you need to own Moscow, Novgorod, Tver or Jaroslavl, Ryazan or Smolensk. Nizhny Novgorod or Vladimir. So we can actually form Russia, but um, we need admin tech 10. It's so tempting to take all of Kazan. It is so tempting to take all of Kazan. And maybe we should do it. Maybe we should do it. This will go to Perm. This will go to Perm. We are gonna eat Kazan. We are gonna eat maybe some more provinces, but... The land is really bad because it is a different religion and a non-accepted culture, so we will have a lot of rebels. <laughs> and and Radanek is saying, so do it! <laughs> Take all of it. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you for watching once again. And I hope to see you in the next part where we will maybe still annex Kazan, or maybe not.
I'm not sure yet. So find out in the next episode. Bye bye.